Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to help resolve the kernel data and page error you're coming across on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. Type in Advanced System. When the best matches should come back with View Advanced System Settings, go ahead and left click on that. Now that you are in the screen, you want to go select the Settings option underneath Performance. And now you want to select the Advanced tab. Select the Change button down here, so go ahead and left click on that. And make sure automatically manage paging file size for all drivers is checkmarked in here. So if it's not, you want to checkmark it and then left click on OK. So you will have to restart your computer, but we're going to do that in a little bit, so just close out of here. Select Apply and OK. Select OK once again. So we're going to restart later, but for right now we're going to open up the Start menu, type in CMD, best match should come back with Command Prompt, you want to right click on that, and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a User Account Control Prompt, you want to left click on Yes. Now you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, SFC followed by space forward slash scan now. Hit enter on your keyboard.
Okay, so once that's done, now you want to go type in chk, dsk, space, forward slash f, then another space, forward slash r, exactly as appears on my screen here. So again, chk, dsk, space, forward slash f, followed by space, forward slash r, hit enter your keyboard. You will have to close out of any open programs and applications and restart your computer. So it's going to prompt you would you like to schedule this following to be checked the next time your system restarts. Tap the Y key on your keyboard, hit enter. So close out of here, restart your computer, let it run, it probably will take about 15-20 minutes or so. And hopefully that should be able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.